What's it like to be a part of a game where you score 10 goals as a team? It's obviously a positive in that department, but um, then again, we, we let in five goals again, so um, we got to adjust on that. We got to know that's not just in the, the play doesn't happen in their end, it happens in our end too. So we got to make some adjustments there. We're right back at it tomorrow, but we know how to play in our D zone. We practice it all the time, and I mean, just little breakdowns. That's what, uh, that's what kind of led us to let in five goals, but then again, we, we did win the game, so we got to take that into effect, and we have to, you know, Gary for Portage tomorrow. So what's the feeling like in the dressing room after a game like this? Uh, it's not going to lie. It's a little mixed. Um, obviously, we're we're happy we're winning, but, I mean, uh, if this were to be last year, obviously we'd be really happy, but uh, things have changed, and now we expect to win. And um, games like this, I mean, um, we're, we expect to win now. So, I mean, we have to take what we did wrong in the game too, and we have to, you know, if we play like that against a team like Portage, um, it might be a different game. You've been on the opposite side of these kind of games the past two years. Now you guys are on this side of things. Do you at any point feel any sympathy for the other team, knowing what they're going through when you're pounding out 10 goals? Uh, well, I wouldn't say I have sympathy, but definitely I know what they feel like, and uh, that's never fun. But, um, no, it's definitely, by saying that, it's definitely good to be on this side of things, and uh, hopefully, um, you know, we can have a bit more of those games. But, I mean, Nah, gotta give some credit to Nipah. They are, you know, not the most skilled team, but they're really hardworking and they don't give up. So um, you have to give credit to them, and they're uh, a bunch of hard workers there. So. And you're probably feeling pretty good tonight, getting three goals. What's been the difference for you this year? You're almost at 30. If you're not, yeah, you're, I think you're just right underneath that total. Uh, I think in the past years, 12 has been your most. Now all of a sudden, you're upwards at the three-zero mark. What's what's been the big deal for you? Well, probably first thing is staying healthy. I mean, I've played every game this season, so that's helped a lot too. And uh, it's a lot of confidence, a lot more confidence. I'm shooting a lot more. I'm getting in areas. I'm, you know, stronger. I'm quicker. And I mean, I just I'm. It's all experience, and you know, the main thing is confidence. But by saying that, I mean uh, I gotta give credit to my line mates too. Um, you know, Miles Nicklick always seems to be able to find me, and same with Dan Telfer. I mean, Miles is good for his passing, and Dan's good for both. And you know, this year I've just been really good for scoring. So. Uh, you know, hopefully we can keep that going. I mean, uh, we're coming to the ladder stretch here and going into the playoffs. Hopefully uh, that stays the same because we've been pretty consistent. So, Is there any competition between you and Olsen here trying to be the leading scorer on the team, or do you guys don't look at that? Uh, you know, obviously sometimes we might crack a little joke about it, but um, at the end of the day we're here to win games, and, you know, we're here to you know, work hard. And, you know, if we do that, you know, goals will happen. And we, know, we both know we'll score, and... Um, yeah, I don't know if you, yeah you got one tonight, so I think we're tied now. But uh, it's just you know it's not the not the main focus. I mean, we got it's a pretty important part of the season here, and we're going to playoffs, so we got to stay focused and stay focused on winning games. Tomorrow's game against Portage, uh, it's a big game for you guys. You guys are not that far behind them, uh, but it's your third game in three nights, and hasn't really fared that well for you guys. No, yeah, it hasn't. But uh, you know we're actually tied with them now, I believe, and but they have a few games in hand, but. They uh, no definitely that the third game's never been good for us, but I think um, the difference with these two games, I think yesterday's game, we uh, you know we're doing a good job of playing all our guys, and you know some guys you know I haven't been playing as many minutes as I usually do, and that's a good thing because I mean uh, going to tomorrow's game's big game, and you know we need everyone healthy, and for a three and three, I feel all right right now, so I think we'll be able to get one in tomorrow too, and um, then after that we don't have much of a break, we have to play Saturday again, so. A lot of games in February.